Welcome to Soul Food Kicks and Giggles. I'm your host at Rashid Young. We're here in Alphabet City, and today we're gonna to be talking to Flawless, Mr. Flawless, AKA the Ice Man. That's right. We're also gonna have Mikey Likes It Ice Cream. It's here, it's sneakers, it's ice cream, it's jewelry, it's all types of things, and it's gonna be a lot of energy, and we may pull off a stunt today. All right, come on, let's go. G, what's good? Can't complain, man. Good what's seeing you, man. Right. Listen, before we get started, can we get this thing out and do a sixth app photo shoot in the middle of the street on Avenue A? Let's do it. Come on. Man. All right, cool. I need some excitement in my life. It's still early. The Avenue A shot. Like We're gonna have to make a U-turn. You said I suck. All right, we're doing a sixth app photo shoot on Avenue A. Everybody ready? Let go. Okay. Everybody behind you doing all this extra stuff. How you feel? Uh, I'm a little shook on the bus, dude. The fucking cross town bus coming. Good. Chilling here today at Mikey Likes It Ice Cream with my man Mikey and Flawless, aka Mr. Jeweler's favorite jeweler, Mr. Icy, Mr. You know, Crispy Sneakers. Uh, he's got a whole bunch of treats for us. I'm hungry. I'm also lactose intolerant, so I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do here today. Please, let's get it popping. Here with Flawless. Hey. Oh shit, Mikey, thank you so much. Yo, Mikey, tell me, before you go anywhere, what is this? This is a Red Fox Mac Daddy. You big dummy. And uh, that's a red velvet waffle and the ice cream inside that is our Sade Sweetest Taboo Flavor of the Month, which is a caramel banana ice cream with walnuts and chocolate chip cookie dough. And then on top of that is our Southern Hospitality. It is pecan pie ice cream with praline pecans and pecan pie pieces. Well, this, Enjoy. Well, this is awesome. How did you get into making ice cream? Uh, I had an aunt who would walk me to school as a child and she would tell me to stay out the streets as a kid growing up and uh, when she passed I was cleaning her apartment and I ended up finding a vanilla ice cream recipe and uh, after you know, tweaking that, that be has become the base of all the ice cream flavors that you see us create here. Man, sometime today we have to figure out how flawless can, you know, like add what he does, like his little spin, to this ice cream dessert right here because I mean... I think I got it. You know, just like a treat, man. Like, I got it. I mean, am I gonna get sick? I, you know, I'm lactose intolerant. Help me out, It'll bro. Be just fine. And then also, I'll put something together for you before you leave, which is a dairy-free uh, situation. Uh, so you, you won't be you won't be bad today. Is that dairy yeah, I, you know what? I know where the bathroom is, so I, I, there I, you I, go. I can mess with this a little bit. Whatnot. I'm trying not to get sick. Plus, man. Thank What's you. going on? Yo, man. I know who you are. Well, fucking up. We we'll love it. And I just want to know, Flawless, I know you. I've met you a couple of times. We hung out so, sometimes. So please, tell our audience who you are and what you do. I'm just a regular Queens kid from New York, you know. Um, I stumbled across uh, my cousin and uncle's jewelry store back in 2008. And uh, I ended up going from a salesman to, you know, slowly creating my own jewelry now to one of the hottest designers out. So you're a designer, you've got tons of jewelers, you're your jeweler's favorite jeweler and whatnot. You wound up taking over Jacob the Jeweler's spot. Now, when you took that over, right? Mm -hmm. Like, did you know what you had to do when you came, you know, like, I have this prime real estate, so how should I attack it, you know? Tell me how to- No, when I, when I got there, I knew Jacob the Jeweler worked there mm -hmm. and, and he started there, but I hated it. Right. I didn't like it, I didn't know anything about jewelry, I didn't know anything about watches and it just being in sales wasn't my thing. I wasn't trying to talk to everybody. I didn't know what I was doing. And um, after, you know, I worked there seven days a week because it was seasonal from Thanksgiving to New Year's. Right. And um, it was just dreadful. And after the new year, I was like, guys, thank you. I don't want to work anymore. You know, it was seasonal. Peace. I'm out of here. Mm -hmm. I was getting paid like $70 a day. I wasn't with it. And they were like, no, no, stay, you know, you might like it, blah, blah, blah. And my mom made me feel bad. She's like, I just need you to just stay out the street and just, you know, work. So a couple of weeks after going back, 
Floyd Mayweather came in, 50 Cent came in, Fab came in, you know, people were coming in. And I started realizing this might be a place for me to grow. Right. And, you know, little by little, I started, you know, designing my own pieces and kind of just took off. So tell it, give us a little story about how your collaboration with Fila, you know, how did that happen? Uh, my man, Sean, Sean Lynch worked for them and he bumped into me at um, a, the Agenda show here in New York. And he was like, yo, you know, I was walking by the booth and you know, me growing up as a kid, being a sneakerhead, you know, everybody had a pair of Fila's. And I saw a pair of Fila's that I had as a, as a child. And I picked it up, looked at it, put it back down. It's like, yo, listen, you know, we should do a collaboration, blah, 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 you know, get a couple of shoes out. You know, why don't you stop by the office and, you know, let's talk about it. And, you know, went down to the office like a week later, sat down and picked out a shoe and told them the colorways I wanted and it kind of, you know, it was actually a hit. I didn't think they would sell like that. I just wanted to do it just, you know, for myself. And uh, it ended up selling out in eight hours. Wow. So. So you that can't pick cool. those up no yeah, more? Yeah, That's it. Gone. Done. I got one last seven for me. Ah. If you said 11, I think I would have paid any amount of money for those. Yeah, they're gone. My main thing is to make it wearable for people. You know, when, you know, my, the Mr. Brand alone, I want when people have a part of something from me, I want them to feel good about it, you know? I'm not going to just put something out there because it's just, it was the right thing to do or it was cool to do, you know what I mean? I want to put something out that, that that's quality and, and wearable and, 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 and nice. Any sneaker in the world, at any time, Mr. Flawless wants a... I would have to say any sneaker in the world. I know the mags are like six, seven thousand, eight thousand dollars now. That's not my favorite sneaker. I don't, I don't want that because it's six, seven grand. Right. I want like the Legend of the Summer Ones. Jordans. You ever see those before? You know nah, what they look I like? Know. Can I show you what they of look course, like? Of course, please. When I when I stumbled across them, my man uh, Brandon Gibson, he played for the Miami Dolphins at the time. Mm -hmm. He posted them on Instagram. And I'm a sneakerhead. I know I know every one that came out. I know, you know, this one must have slipped. It's red patent leather. Wow. With black uh, what is that like a Teflon canvas? What is it? this is like it, a shiny Yeah, like, it, it, like. It, it, it's sick. I've never it's seen sick. that in my life. Or not. But, you guys want to zoom in on that? My thing is like, you know. That would be my ultimate sneaker. If I could have anything in the world as far as sneakers goes, this would be it. If somebody has these in a size 7 and don't want to charge me $8,000 for them, I'll take them. All right, let's talk about your art again. Let's go over a couple of pieces. Let's go over them like individually. Tell them, you know, tell us about your thought process when you were designing them. Why you picked that shoe, you know, and, and why the certain details on it. I mean, the, the Jordan 1 we did was, you know, everybody loves a Jordan 1, you know what I mean? It's, it's a classic. It's like a must-have piece. It's, it's a must-have piece. Yeah. But you get this But I don't sell them. Again, I don't sell those. I'm not allowed to sell them because it's Nike. So well, I, I can't sell any of that stuff. So I made these personally for myself well, to display if, how good we are in well, making these things. What if Jordan came in, you know, into your shop? And Where do I like, sign? <laughs> That's it. Let's go to the next. What is this? The, the boost? This is the Easy Boost, the Pirate, wow. the 350. Now, Ooh. how do you? Uh, you're on trend. You like? You must be fast at it because mm -hmm. these just came out, right? Yeah. And so, so you knew about this for on quite it. some time. On it. Wow. Do people approach you and say? Look, people want to buy them all day. They don't leave me alone. Stop DMing me. <laughs> I don't want to sell them. This is an amazing piece right here. How many? Just one piece for I you? I make one. That's it. I make one. One and you break the mold. One, I break the mold, and that's it. I wear it for myself. So this is priceless right here. Priceless. It's, it's like... I mean, a lot of jewelers try to make them, but they can't get it to, you know, this is clean. It's going to be tough for them to do it like that. Now, what's this exactly? That's the LeBron. No. The, 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 the South Beaches. So Bron Bron comes up to you and says, Flawless, I need this. I'd have to give it to him. That's it. If he need, if he need, if he came up to me personally and said I need this, I'd give it to him. Is there anybody who just you know like like? Because that would be an honor for me. You know, I made a sneaker that I like. Right. You know what I'm saying? I like LeBron. Right. If he came up to me personally, not not his management. Right. Not right. not not his friend. If right. he came up to me personally and was like, "Listen, I like that sneaker. I would personally hand it over to him." So Obama and Jordan. Shit. Obama was wearing the Under Armors. Mm -hmm. How do you how do you help him out? Like what do you what do you do for for the president? I like Obama, man. Obama Obama could come in my store any day of the week, get whatever he wants. I'd lace Obama. I'm the head of the motherfucking state, nigga. 
I brought you change, nigga. What the fuck you thinking, nigga? So, 6th Avenue God, you just turned into the A Avenue God mm -hmm. today. That was a big deal. We all over. So now we're all A Avenue Gods and whatnot. There was a lot of traffic. I was scared of the bus that came through. But now it's the time for my favorite part of the show, which is 10 seconds Saint shameless plug. Mikey, 10 seconds. Go. MikeyLikesAndIceCream.com. Check us out on Instagram, Mikey Likes It Ice Cream. And also download our app, the Apple Store, Google Play, Mikey Likes It Ice Cream. Flawless, go. Uh, my Instagram, Mr. Flawless One. And uh, if you're having a bad day and you want to laugh, check out me on Snapchat, Mr. Dot Flawless One. That's it. Simple, easy. Thank you guys for watching us at Soul Food Kicks and Giggles. I'm your host, at Richie Young. Check us out on www.sfkgnyc.com or our social media at sfkgnyc. And we'll see you next time. Fuck off. Hey.